Hey folks, how's it all going? Welcome back. And oh man, what do you got going on? I tell you what, we're going to do a one year review. One year I've had this Pillow Pro Pillow Girl, folks. And look at it. Just look at it. It don't look like it's hardly been used. So let's, I, I tell you what, I was trying to think in my head as to how long I've, and how much I've cooked on this. I've cooked on it at least once a week, if not twice, for the last 52 weeks, easily. And every one of those cooks, some of them were eight hours, some of them were overnight, some of them were, you know, an hour. But if I were to average it down and, and I would go on the safe side and say maybe uh, Maybe four hours a piece. That's over 200 hours of cooking time. I've had on this thing and I, I'll tell you what look at it. it It's like the day I got it, you know, it's you know, this is how it comes it's, These grills are built to last folks and I'll tell you what let's uh, let me give you some proof of how they're built to last So you're asking well give me some proof of how they're built to last well look at there's the warranty you, you've got a three-year that covers the, the, the PID controller. You've got a seven year, now seven year, that covers the mechanicals. Uh, it covers the auger motor, the induction fan motor, even the hot rod igniter. So the hot rod igniter, they're putting this thing, seven year warranty on it. Folks, uh, <laughs> who else has given that? Yeah, you're right, nobody. So there's the, there's their new controller. I've had it in that pellet grill that you just saw. And they are working frantically to get that ready for you folks. Um, the the Wi-Fi thing, they don't want to release this thing until it's perfect. So we're, we're not going to be like some other companies that are just throwing it out there and letting you, the consumer, be the tester. No, 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 no. They're testing this thing backwards, forwards, inside and out. And they want to make sure it is, it is good to go before they put it in the hands of you. So everybody who's asking, what about the new controller? What about the Wi-Fi? What about this? They're, believe me, <laughs> they're working on it. So... But you know what? I've got a different controller in this grill. Let's take a look at that one. All right, so that controller looks like the standard Pellet Pro controller, but this one's a little bit different. This is their USA One controller. And folks, this is for those who want to get the PID controller, but don't want all the fancy schmancy Wi-Fi stuff that goes along with you know some of the stuff these days. So you can still get and modify, and there are thousands and thousands of these controllers out there. This one's got a different program in it. It, it goes a little bit, uh, gets it a little bit more dialed in on the smoke side and it's you know what it's a usa made all the way so uh you know it's it's all part of their uh patriot line of usa made products which you know i'm proud as heck about and I, i'm i'm glad and I'm, I, I can't say enough good things about the people at Pell pro i tell you what we're gonna do some meatloaf today but i want to dig into I, I tell you what why don't you go take a look at the meatloaf and then we're gonna come back and take a look at the inside of this grill and give you a few more reasons why you should be buying this. Oh man, you're the winner. What is I mean? This is this is my this is the way I make meatloaf, folks. I'm very consistent in the way that I do this. And uh, it starts off with two pounds of, of ground meat. Uh, in this case, I'm using some uh, sirloin, and then I've got uh, one pound of uh, Italian sausage, mild. One pound of that. Uh, I stay away from the hot because it'll overpower this so mild or you can eat just go with the regular too I've got two beaten eggs. I've got some of this uh, celery and onion mix goes great. That's part of meatloaf um, Got a package of Ritz crackers uh, garlic butter. This really works well cheese cheese in your meatloaf Oh, you haven't tried it if you haven't tried it. It's awesome in there got a little bit of the Zang stir fry oil I've got a little bit of the uh, Chili lime from Cindy Lou's. That stuff is awesome in uh, in meatloaf. And then bacon, because we're going to do a bacon weave on top of it. It's a super simple thing to do, folks. It's a it's a really different uh, meatloaf. It, ta it takes it to a different level that I think you're really going to enjoy. Uh, you're going to I've got a big bowl to mix it all in, and then I've got a smaller bowl that we're actually going to form it up in, and we're going to actually put it in the freezer, let it get it a little crusted over before we release it. Put the bacon weave on top of it, and I'll tell you what. Let's get this all together. All right, so that's what it looks like. If you're asking for portions, what I put in there, there uh, the cheese is like one cup. And then you saw that container I had of the celery and the onion, that was about half of that. And this is the, the total three pounds of meat, two, two, two pounds of the ground beef, then one pound of the uh, Italian mix. Um, salt, uh, seasoning to taste, uh, you know, obviously you don't taste this, but you put in what you think you need. There's no real rhyme or reason there. And then the Ritz crackers, um, I, uh, I start off with, well, this is about three quarters of a pack, maybe a little bit more, but you just crumpled it up in your hands like that. And I'm gonna put this, what I got here in there. And then you just mix it up with your hands again. 
and um, I'll give you a look see once that's done. Folks, here's a grease tray after a year, and there's this thing is heavy. This thing is heavy duty, and as you can see, it is not warped after one year. Most pellet grills, their their grease trays are notorious for warping. Let's take another look on the inside. Take a look at that heat deflector. See the thickness of the steel there? That thing is not that that is not going to warp either. They built things to last because they're a small company. They can't afford to have you people sending it back to them. So they built things extra heavy duty so it'll last forever. That's why they can give a seven year warranty. Now let's let's go beyond and take a look at the burn pot. All right? You want to know what a well made uh, pellet grill looks like? You're looking at one right there. Nine holes in there. Uh, it's nice and deep. Stainless steel burn pot. Uh, the auger is, is raised up off the floor so you're not pushing it into the fire. You've got the auger dropping it into the fire. On um, the right hand side there, there's, your, there's where the grease goes. Got a nice big hole in the middle. You can't really see that too well, but that goes down and takes the grease out of your pellet grill. You don't want to leave your grease in the pellet grill. You want to get it out of the pellet grill. And you, you can see after one year, I've done low, low and slow. I've done hot and fast on this thing. There's no warpage. It is all immaculate on the inside. You know, not much more dirtier than the day that I got it. But yeah, actually, if you watch my channel, you know I keep things clean. But yeah. folks, after one year, this thing has got 20 years in. You know, easily, uh, it'll last 20 years. And 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 I've probably done more cooking on this in one year than people will do in five years. So let's let's get it put back together and fire it up. All right, so that's what it looks like when you got the uh, crackers in there. And then what I'm going to do for use for a mold, another stainless steel bowl, I am going to spray it first some canola oil. I'm going to pack this in there real good. I'm going to put it in the freezer for maybe 20, 30 minutes just to start getting a crust on it. And then uh, I'm going to release, release it and we'll show you then. All right, just fire it up, folks. Let's take a look at a couple other things. First of all, pellet hopper, 35 pounds, folks. That's huge. Uh, and it's... It's a square box, it's vertical, so the sides, everything feeds, there's there's no bridging, there's no nothing. You don't have to check it on there. Take a look at the inside here of it. Um, that's how it goes. So uh, a nice pellet hopper there, like I said, 35 pounds, stainless steel lid, stainless steel. And th this is, folks, if you want to do a little test on the stainless steel you've got, you can put a magnet on this and it won't hold. And what that means is there's no regular steel in there to rust and that's what they do with the pillow pro stuff is that uh there's it's just, that's gonna last it's lasted for a year and it's gonna last for 20 years so you know we've got the new controller in there you see, you see how fast she's going up already up to 115 we got set on low smoke and uh, i tell you what let's go take that uh let's go take that meatloaf and put our basket weave on it and, and get it on because uh <laughs> this guy's been getting hungry all right so there's our loaf coming out of the freezer i, I take I took like this uh uh, for slicing cake and that and went around and just tried to break the suction here and then I got one of these cooking mats and we're just gonna look at that nice looking loaf so then we're gonna do a bacon weave on top of there let's show you that all right I got a little carried away and I, I did it you see me doing bacon weaves before folks I'm also gonna leave the first very first video the unboxing and assembly video down below in the comment section uh, on YouTube, Tom Horseman at YouTube, folks, if you want to see that. Um, but I tell you what, let, let, let's get this on the Pell Pro. All right, folks, give me a quick look. See, now I just got this controller today. I just put it in. The assembly is super simple, folks. And uh, you're wondering, uh, does a Pell Grill smoke? Uh, yeah, the Pell Pro does smoke. Uh, 160 is low, is low smoke. Look at that. 159. You can't, you can't expect better than that. The, the Pell Pro series, folks, if you have an old Traeger or a Camp Chef that you don't want to get rid of just to get a new controller, I tell you what, smoke that ink, the Pell Pro line, you can, this, this controller will fit in most Pell grills and works just great. They just need to know what Pell grill you've got because a lot of times there's a cover plate and they have a custom cover plate that'll fill in the gap where this, you know, for this, for this controller. So, Still smoking. I want to take a look at the meat wall. Yeah, there it is. Good smoke coming out of there. 165 internal, folks. Uh, we'll probably pull it at 160, cover it, and let it, uh, in, in a residual heat, we'll get it up to the rest. But uh, I tell you what, I am so impressed with this grill after one year. Uh, there's not a whole lot of people who can say that. You know, and it's, and it's, you're saying, well, it's an expensive grill. No, it's not. 
Uh, they're 1190, which is bigger than the uh, than the new Weber smoke fire. Is you know it's cheaper than the Weber. It's it's about 800 bucks compared to the Weber smoke fire, which is their smallest one is a thousand. So folks, up. Uh, keep watching. Give you a couple more look sees at this meatloaf as we continue. All right, folks, we did an hour and a half at 160, which is low smoke on the on the Pell Pro, and now we've bumped it up to 300. <laughs> this thing, 303, 302. It's just amazing how it dials it. And let's take a quick look at our meatloaf. Oh yeah, starting to sweat a little bit. I'll tell you what, this is gonna be good. Getting hungry here, folks. So we'll keep on going, giving another look see before we plate it up. Stay tuned for that. All right, folks, two and a half hours in, I'll bump things up to 325. You can see we're sitting at 330, 331 there on the Pell Pro. Uh, PID's doing a great job. Let's take a look, you know, let's take a look at the meatloaf, shall we? Oh, no, no, look at that. So let's take a temp right in the middle. Well, we're getting there, 115. Well, where she's at, pump things up a little bit. Yeah, like I said, we need about 160 before we pull it off and give you a look. All right, folks, just a little over three hours. Let's take a quick look. That's nice looking meatloaf there. We'll get this off there in a couple seconds, give you a look, see. Once it's plated up, you stay tuned. Oh man, look at that meatloaf. I'll tell you what, <laughs> nice smoke ring. Look at that. Oh, gotta take a taste test. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh man, Tom Hushman is YouTube, folks. Meatloaf, folks, <laughs> this is awesome. Your kids will love it, husband will love it, wife will love it, everybody's gonna love that. Even grandma and grandpa, so. Tom Hushman on YouTube, I saw it, I'll say it again. Thumbs up and folks, uh, thanks for watching, I appreciate it.